If there's a room in the house where Courtney Anderson Sanford feels most at home, it's the kitchen. I grew up on a sustenance farm in New Hampshire, and all we purchased were wheat berries to grind our own flour and white sugar. That's cold dough all. Now this mom from Magnolia cooks for a family of her own and is always thinking about what to make next. I can pretty much make anything, so it's more what everybody's in the mood for. So last year, she decided to put her cooking skills to the test by submitting an audition tape to a new culinary competition show called Food Fighters. A friend from school told me about a casting and I sent in a video, kind of dorky. My name is Courtney Anderson Sanford and I live in Seattle, Washington. You're actually really dorky. Pink lady. But the producers of the show liked what they saw. And then they called me the next day and went down and tried out and cooked and cooked and cooked. In my mind, I thought that I could be on the show, but not working in 13 years, a housewife from Magnolia, how is she gonna make it to LA? Let the food fight begin. She was picked and immediately thrown into the fire of reality TV. I didn't used to like salmon. I really disliked it and I moved to Seattle, the land of salmon. Food Fighters is one part cooking with a dash of game show. It puts home cooks and their recipes against five professional chefs for a chance to win $100,000. All right, how are you feeling up here? I'm feeling tight on time. Though taping a TV show can be chaotic, Courtney says so is being a mom. With everything going on, even if there's cameras and kids at home or dogs barking or husbands on a conference call, it's kind of a little bit the same thing, and I just stayed focused and in the zone. Thank you, sir. Who wants cookies? You'll have to watch tonight to see how she did, but Courtney hopes her appearance on NBC's Food Fighters won't be the last thing she dishes out to the public. I don't know where it's going to take me, but definitely I'm going to be in the kitchen somewhere.